Well, it is four hours in ten minutes. Let me adjust the camera. There you go. It is four hours and twelve minutes into the third day of April uh, 2021. And uh, we're uh, going to transition to our, our bed office, <laughs> our bed research desk. Uh, you can call it office, study desk, research desk, uh, uh, study desk, research desk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where we will transition uh, to the dreams and uh, work in there. Because I said that uh, the work just doesn't stop. It's 24-7. So, once again, I am in a very tired state. Um, uh, my eyes are difficult to keep open. That's kind of the reason why I'm kind of transitioning over. I would be watching, doing more of the YouTube stroll. But I'm kind of at a point now where I've had enough and... Uh, I can't keep my eyes open. I can't keep my eyes... Uh, uh, can't focus on anything. Uh, so there's no point in continuing on. And I'm just going to go to bed. But this is kind of how, how it goes. Uh, uh, yesterday was kind of up and down all day long. Uh, there wasn't any... One specific thing I get. I, I have a list of things. That I need to get done, but I don't do them in any particular order. It's whatever is closest, whatever is the most convenient, uh, and whatever is on my mind at the time. It, it, a lot of times, it depends on where my mind is, what's on my mind, the th different things I'm thinking about. This is sort of how uh, uh, my sort of the work that needs to get done gets done. Is because depend. I'm, I'm actually. Either near where the work has to get done, done like say laundry or whatever, uh, or it's on my way to accomplishing something else. Like uh, I've been working on the uh, new storage system for uh, the phones. I found out uh, 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 the storage system has something called XFAT. XFAT is the file allocation table. This is how, this is how a hard drive is defined. Uh, typically, the the most stable the most stable platform is FAT32. They're using a new one called XFAT, uh, EXFAT uh, for FAT. Uh, but it's not as stable. So I've got to pull some of the information off of uh, the. The hard drive that I that I had put on there, and then go about uh, my business of uh, reformatting the hard drive. Uh, I have to use Linux to do that to go to recreate the partition table and create it as a FAT system, uh, a FAT32, which is the most uh, the most. Uh, how, should, how should I say that? It's the most stable system. It, it, it doesn't go down very easily. Uh, NTFS goes down pretty quickly. I've tried uh, the Linux uh, EXT uh, 4. That goes down pretty good uh, quickly. Uh, I haven't... I'm not that, that well experienced with, with the RAID 0. I've been hearing about RAID 0. But I don't have a test platform just yet. Uh, to do uh, RAID 0 on, uh, you can, can do them with flash drives. And what you do is you line flash drives up on a uh, a USB hub, uh, put the flash drives as uh, RAID 0, and then define it in such a manner that uh, it becomes a, a very large hard drive. In other words, uh, you can, even though it's individual drives, you can sum up the entire uh, the the flash drives, the thumb drives. Let's say you have five 32 gigabyte uh, drives. Well, let's, let's make it easy. Let's say you have ten uh, 32 gigabyte hard drives. Well, that gives you 320 gigabytes in terms of a flash drive when you're using RAID zero. Uh, but again, I haven't stress tested it. I don't know how it's going to end up working out. So what happens is every time you do something new, there is a path into 
stabilizing, and that's what I was doing last night. Is it, 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 just say a couple of hours ago, I went to church and put in a new system uh, to uh, the sound system to sort of deal with some of the uh, level problems. But as everything happens, every time you upgrade something, there's always uh, adjustments that have to be made, and things didn't go as expected. I was able to correct everything eventually. Uh, but when you tell people something, that you're going to do something, they forget. And so one of the other people I was working with, I told him that we were going to do this on Friday, but he had forgotten and he didn't realize that he needed to be at his system because he does the work remotely. Uh, to adjust things, but he did do the adjustment, but he got to it late, and the sound wasn't so good, so, uh, but the thing is that when you don't, if you're doing this in a live situation where you do not have any form of rehearsal, uh, then you have to do all your adjustments, all your sound check and everything like that, that all has to go on while, while, while everything is live. In other words, you have to do it on the fly. It, 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 well, things are moving along, so uh, I'm used to it. I, I, I've, this is the way I operate here. Uh, I can't shut down to do repairs and stuff like that, so I have to, to manage the project in such a way that they can operate in parallel with whatever is going on. And then, if it's something that's sufficient and sort of changes or provides a benefit, you migrate towards that particular. Uh, that 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 uh, particular new uh, upgrade or whatever it is, uh, whether it's hardware, or software, or whatever, and that's kind of the that's kind of uh, what I've been doing over over the last week or so. Uh, I still I really haven't locked down a path yet uh, of as to where I'm going next, uh, but I have I am mulling over some ideas. But again, it, like anything else, it takes a while to sort of figure out if you're on the new level. Uh, where you're actually going, so uh, it remains to be seen uh, how I will sort of uh, decide where I'm going next. It's about uh, quarter to four, quarter to five in the morning on uh, April fourth. Yeah, so it's four hours and forty-five minutes into the uh, fourth day of April. That's a Sunday. That's uh, Easter for the Catholics and the Western Christianity, but it's not Easter yet uh, for the Eastern Christianity. Uh, and there's so there's two Christianities. There's an East, that, there's an East, and there's a West. Uh, and I'm part of the East. Uh, a large chunk of the East has kind of disappeared. They're, they're, it's very difficult to find anywhere. Uh, even though they look like it, they'll, they'll talk about it, they'll, they'll say that they're Eastern, but uh, if they are associated at all with any of the Western churches in terms of their bishops, then uh, while they may look and act Eastern, they're not necessarily Eastern in terms of uh, their construction. They look they, they, there are There are churches that are designed to, be, to look like wolves in sheep's clothing, they are there to pull people away from the east. Oh. And the east-west conflict has is, is been going on for a very long time, not just in uh, no seasons, but uh, even in, in geopolitics. People don't understand that no uh plays a huge uh, role in our world the the so-called secular governments, the secularists, aren't in control. The ones who are in control, the upper elites, they're all within Gnosis. So what happens is that the the, the typical uh, Gnostic belief is that magic is power and power is limited, and that power is limited. Uh, so they don't want a lot of people to to achieve it. Uh, because uh, it's a it's something that is fractional. This is uh, why they talk about amulets. They talk about uh, these various different magical items in terms of anything can be a magical item. You go into a, 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 a an African market or even 
in the South American market, the, these called, um, we call wet markets. Uh, it's kind of a bad term for them. They're more of a, uh, uh, it's an old world way, way they used to live. That's, the, you know, this is where the barter and trade system was. Uh, and they used to uh, trade one thing for another. That's the barter and trade. Uh, and the currency is whatever you, whatever was agreed upon in terms of the exchange between the two business partners. That was your currency. There was no currency uh, beyond that. So our understanding of currency, our understanding of finance is something completely different. Uh, this is how you could end up trading your daughter for two goats or for something along those lines. Uh, it's because there was a price put on people's heads. They, you know, certain people were worth more and others were worth less. And uh, unfortunately, women were considered to be <clears throat> not of any real value in many cases. And so, uh, in many cases, the father of the the father of the bride had to pay the uh, groom's family a particular fee. A dowry, this was the, what the whole concept of the dowry was, is that to pay the groom's family for taking in their daughter. <laughs> in other words, you, had, you couldn't give her away, you had, a, you had a seller. And this is a large chunk of what goes on today in human trafficking, is that uh, that part of barter and trade is still there. There's still particular people who, uh, well, I, I tell you, enough people who, uh, who, live in this sphere that it, there is a demand and what happens is again these are people who are up on, on in the upper levels they're within the government they're not poor people a poor a poor person cannot pay the transport fees the, all these other things that go along with it including having the lawyers to sort of smooth everything over and the thing is they, these lawyers have to have uh, contacts within the government who will uh, adjust papers who will uh, rig and, and and do a number of different things uh, in order to get people across a, a particular border or into a particular place. This is, and this is what we see at the at, at the border is that, that Biden doesn't seem to have any degree of control. Uh, but then again, he himself is uh, suffers from senile dementia, and uh, at this point in time, he's just being put up as a uh, show horse, show show horse. He's the, a puppet. Uh, and they thought, well, this is unusual for the United States. This is not something that's, you know, something that's, that's palatable. But if you go into the, the TV show Yes, Prime Minister, that's the sequel to Yes, Prime, uh, yes Minister, and where uh, the main lead character becomes Prime Minister. He's no longer... You see the goings-on. You see that the the bureaucrats don't feel that the government should the government should be controlled by the politicians but rather the government should be controlled by the bureaucrats that these permanent secretaries and these undersecretaries these are the people who have the power these are people who have been in government forever and they're controlling what's what and th this is even true within the foreign department how wars are start and, and and this is this was sort of mentioned by uh, Yuri Yuri uh, uh Brezhnev uh, one of the uh, a KGB agent who come basically says that the wars are typically typically started by bureaucrats and technocrats, not by the generals. And you can sort of see how the sort of behaviors uh, roll on out uh, as you get into again the, 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 the secrets aren't necessarily buried; they're in TV shows, but they're in there in terms of fraction fraction. So. You could spend a couple of years going through a number of different, you know, call uh, cultural sources before you really find anything significant that that would say, ah, okay, that's what that is. Uh, and as I said before, there is you you cannot predict where you're going to find it. You can't uh, 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 sort of shorten the path, if you will. There is no shortcut. There's no um, there's no there's no sense of that. There's no sense of shortcut. There's no sense of, um, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, and it's going to be very quick. Like you know, you having you have <laughs> or you watch these arguments. You're having an argument or you're watching an argument on 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 either any of the social media platforms, and they want the ar they want the argument over with within that not five minutes, whatever however long you you spend it on. 
And the arguments go back and forth. They're very short. They're not very long, long arguments. But you'll have people who uh, will end up in many cases in very short, the short, the, the short spaces, putting an entire essay in there or an entire paper. But when you go through it, you sort of sit through and read through the the, the details. Uh, they're all over the place. They don't necessarily make a lot of sense. And that's because, again, the information is not necessarily there in what you would call a typical proof that you have to sort of, um, uh, how should I put this? You have to work through the materials in such a manner that it takes you, in terms of doing the analysis, it takes you much longer than you would expect it to occur, to happen. And so there is a particular issue um, uh, with... Um, Doing the background research because you cannot answer a person back directly and, and, and or immediately. It could take you a couple of years before you, you really figure what's going on. Uh, and the discussions become general with other people. They don't necessarily become very specific and you can, you don't really answer things. But once you get to the, again, you get to the, to the, to the deep side of things, you get into the hidden information. And, um, uh, these are this is information that should not be talked about, should not be passed around. Uh, so how do you then bring out inf information that is important without revealing some of these secrets, some of these particular issues? And that's uh, what I've been sort of struggling with over the last few weeks. Is I do have a good amount of information, but uh, I don't simply necessarily want to put it out the way, uh, just sort of dump it out the way WikiLeaks has done. Uh, there needs to be a sense of not necessarily proprietary but 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 a sense of where are you going to put the stuff that will be more effective you know, it's about the the effective release about your presentation how effective is your presentation if it's not that effective and nobody sees it uh, then it's of little or no value and then again, how do you judge your impact uh, your impact uh, on the in, on the internet, how, uh, or on general people who are around you, you know, how do you know your information is getting out? How do you know things are uh, are being effective? And it's not an easy thing to do because it does take time. It could take you a couple of months to go through these some of the, some of the stuff. So uh, there is no short answer to the uh, to the, any of these arguments on either side. And I think what happens most people when they argue argue on an issue of stats. Well, I have a doctor I know here. I have a doctor I know there. And, and this guy said this, and this guy said that, and he's a doctor and he knows. And well, not necessarily. If the information's secret, if it's classified, it's not going to get out. If the information is hidden, uh, deliberately or otherwise, and the person doesn't know about it, how are they going to be aware of, of the stuff that they don't know or have never seen? And this is what we're talking about experiences. The experience does show you some stuff, but again, doesn't necessarily mean you've seen everything or you've experienced everything. There's always shortcomings in a, a number of understandings. I wouldn't say in all understandings, but I would say the majority that there's 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 a, a very little or, or, or is limited in such a manner that uh, the we we'll call the the guru status uh, can be questioned in terms of. Okay, I'm a guru. I know this and I know that. Uh, <laughs> well, the, the the guru is limited. Uh, you could be good at some things, but you may not be good at other things. You have to sort of fill in the holes to, of where you miss or where you don't understand, and it, it, it's 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 a constant struggle. Particularly if you want to truly be independent, you can't be going out there taking multi multi million dollar grants from the government or from Pfizer or, or any of these big company corporations governments. You cannot be taking them because you write your reports towards uh, to, uh, to, into the interest of, of the funder, so that you know the next time you come back for more money, you can you going to do that. You want to keep your job, then you're going to have to go back for more money, and uh, you want to make your uh, funders happy. So being independent is the way to do that, but uh, there's not a lot of money here, so you have to find other means to sort of really make things. Uh, the, 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 so that they have an impact. Impact. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's going to leave that here for now, and uh, we'll see you probably sometimes uh, later on tonight. We'll see what happens uh, because when I get back from church, there will be a couple couple hours uh, uh, 
uh, of meditation during church, and then after church, I will uh, uh, have something to eat with my parents, and then go back to my place, and that's when I'll be going to bed. It's basically every week, and I'll be doing these all-nighters, and uh, the body, the 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 fatigue, the body fatigue is uh, setting in, and it's real, and it does present a, a struggle, even when we add on top of it the physiological uh, meditation of fasting. It makes it even more difficult. So, but anyways, I'm surviving. Things are working out okay, and uh, I am upgrading on a weekly basis. There, there are improvements uh, uh, that are that occur weekly now that uh, I can consider myself upgrading on a weekly basis. So we are there. It's just a matter of where we're going next.